Yo, this is a tunnel place. Pokemon Shining Pearl. And Badge 5 is ours. Check this out. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. We still have three more to go, though, so we are still a bit away. But we are going to go on a bit of a trip. Because... Now we have access to... Surf. Yes. Now we can explore a lot of sea routes on our journey. And that's also opened the path to badge number six. But before we go over to badge number six directly, let's take a little detour into a special place which has a special item for us to get. Yes. So we fly. We're gonna fly to Flow Aroma Town. Let's go there right away. There we go. Now, by the way, uh, preparing for the next gym is steel types. So, fire is good, ground is good, fighting is good. But generally, you want to hit them with special attacks because steel types generally have very high defense. Plus, tons of resistances. But if you hit them with their weakness, we're fine. First thing I want to do is to go here, go to this bridge, and use Surf. Vibarel will be your Surf partner in this game. Go up here, around here, and a wild Pokemon comes. It's a Wing. One of the most common water Pokemon in Gen 3 is also common in the sea routes of Gen 4. This Pokemon has a Four time weakness to electric, so you know how to hit it hard and out. If you with a spark, that's tons of damage. Literally tons of damage. A critical hit as well, man. I want I wish Pokemon had damage numbers shown. I just want to see just how much damage a Wingle took from that one, because that one I think was very, very heavy. We got a level up from that one, which is kinda interesting. But this item is extremely good. It's TM24 Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt is, in my opinion, the best electric attack for special attackers. It's not the strongest, but unlike Thunder, which has a bit lower, doesn't have perfect accuracy, Thunderbolt has perfect accuracy. Well, not, not, not perfect, perfect, but yeah, you know what I mean. As long as you don't have accuracy down, you will hit Thunderbolt. We've got a Buizel as well. I'm not gonna fight this Buizel. I'm just going up here because we are going to a place we haven't been able to go to before we had Surf. That's what we're going today. So let's just go away from this Buizel. Let's go to our bag. And put up a repel. Just regular ones, it's fine. Mm, you need to go up here, that's right. Go down here, repel we're up. Yeah, we can use another one. Down here we jump, and then we go here. And then we go to this little route here. Across from these tiny little places, we reach the Fuego Ironworks. Fuego Ironworks. It sounds like some Spanish place. Which is kind of true as well. See in the path up here if you want to go here. You can jump down back to 205. Or, you go here. Fuego Ironworks, home of molten foundries. Hmm. What can be inside? Let's take a look. Before we go though, should we have our Pokemon level up a bit maybe? Ponyta is very strong against Steel types. And um, Meditite is good. Luxray is okay. Roselia is okay. I mean, none of our Pokemon are really weak to Steel. I think. And Pollen is even. It's a Steel type now, which is pretty nice. Staraptor is also good, but 
yeah, very good because of the uh, new cool move we learned when we evolved it. We learned the amazing close combat. But I think Ponita needs love. Especially Ponita should be that far away, I think, from leveling to more levels and getting evolution as well to Rapidash. Ah, Colberberry picked up by our dear Luxray. Thank you, Luxray. Let's go inside. Hmm, it's interesting. You know what's even more interesting about this place? I mean, check it out. This place has these um, uh, these pads we have seen from all the games. They are back, and they are back to make our life pain. Go into this once. You spin around, and you won't be able to control your character as well. So for example, if I do this, you'll be knocked until you hit the wall. If you go here, you're knocked back. Seems pretty funny. Let's try one left first, I think. I work at a red hot foundry. Watch out! I'm on fire! Uh, you don't look like you're on fire, unless you're talking. Oh! Oh, I see. Oh well, work are dealing with much up. I like the background, I like the, the fireworks and the things in the background. Looks pretty nice. Alright, so much up, fire, uh, fighting type. Doesn't really matter what we do here. Let's see, flame chart, flame wheel. Flame wheel is better. Flame Charger has the bonus so that you do increase your speed. But my opinion is that if you don't already have enough speed to outspeed the opponent, you don't really need um, Flame Charge. What Flame Charge is good though is that if you're facing multiple Pokemon and not really sure if you're going to be fast enough, you will only use Flame Charge to make sure you have the extra speed. Then of course if you can be able to hit it, hit it an attack or two. Because sacrificing damage means you probably will take a hit, and if you're allowing yourself to do that, then that's fine. Machoke is next. I think Machoke is going to do some damage. Let's switch him out. Let's bring in uh, Meditite. Because it's nice to have him uh, leveled up as well. Fighting type is good against uh, not just this gym that we're going to go to soon, but the gym after that too. That's right, this, the seventh gym is also a fighting type heaven. That's why Meditite should be getting some levels, plus Meditite and Polita, one of my few Pokemon haven't evolved yet, and we need to get him to evolve. Some strength, an item, a movie we want to use soon, but we don't have the badge yet, but in case you've been wondering, like, it's been so long since we got to the Strength Age uh, TM, when we'll be able to use Strength, yes, next gym is the next, is the one we get to be able to use Strength. Meditite's out 34 now. Getting stronger. I burned out. You did indeed, bro. If you hit this one, you'll knock to the wall. It's only until you knock to the wall that you'll be knocked off. And if you go down this one, you'll of course be knocked away as well. You can't go up, so the only way to go is to go here, and then you go up here. Pick up this item. A burn heal. Can't go here, let's go left. So you wanna go down here, and then you wanna go uh here. Spinning around like crazy. Oh wow, we spin a lot. Hello dude. Well, it's not often we get a visitor like you in Yarn Works. Let's mark the occasion with a battle. Is that what you do at your work? Your Pokemon battles? Damn. It's a nice job. Worker holding with oh boy, here comes Steelix. A steel type. Steelix is also a ground type, by the way. This is bad for Ponita, because even though I do good damage against Steelix, ground types are great against fire types. Plus, Steelix is one of the Pokemon in this game that has the highest defense. Let me show you. Flame wheel. Effective, but Steelix doesn't even take that much damage from a special from a uh, super effective attack because, again, Steelix 
has insane defense. It's one of the highest in the game. And that's why it's not really a good choice. You want a flame wheel then? Yeah. Here comes Sand Tomb. This hurts. Plus, you'll take damage over time. So as you can see, it's very, very damaging. So damaging, I'm not going to have him here. I'm gonna send in Stara or uh, can't because of the bind. You when you bind, you can't switch out. If I survive this hit though, I will be able to KO him, but will I survive though? Ah, maybe I will. The bind itself has very low base damage. It is the the uh, periodic damage from bind which is the one hurts. Luckily for us, he didn't do Sand Tomb, which means we should be able to kill him, and we do. Steel Eggs goes down. And level 39, Star Raptor. Oh, wow, plus 4 attack. That's a lot. Fire! Yeah, fire, fire, fire. Oh, is it burning? Oh, never mind. So it's good though that we were not be getting too unlucky, or should we say, we were lucky this time, only being hit by the uh, bind. Else, the pointer would have been knocked out there. That's fine. All right, so we can't go right. Can we go up here though? We can. Or can we? Where do we end up now? On the other side. Okay, now we should go up here and then go to the here. Can we go up here and sneak up. Can we go past? We can. A Firestone. Nice. Firestone allows certain Pokemon to evolve. For example, is it Firestone for. Uh, I don't think it's Fire. Isn't it leveling up for uh, Ponytail or is it a Firestone? Can't even remember. It's been so long since I've been using Ponytas. Yeah, it is not Firestone. But Pokemon like Growlithe to Arcanine, for example, is a Firestone. You have uh, um, Eevee has one of the many evolutions with use of a Firestone. Let's see. This one is a puzzling thing here. So I think the one you should use is the this one. Yeah, that was correct. Are you maybe getting annoyed by where the floor panels take you? Yeah. I mean, I played all the Game Boy games from Red and Blue, which you even can see on my channel here. Let's play. I done Pokemon Blue and everything. It was in the very first game where those floor panels started. This is basically a bit of a nostalgia act. So here's Rapidash, this is the evolved form of Ponyta that we want to get, but we haven't done it yet. This is a fire type, so let's bring in Empoleon. But do note, Empoleon is not weak to, f is not resistant to fire, because it is a steel type as well. So the fire damage it takes is neutral. Tail whip, which means defense goes down by one. Physical attack will hurt a little bit more onto Empoleon now, but that's fine. Let's use Surf. A Smart Strike. No damage. Because Steel types are very resistant to a lot of things. That Surf hits though. One of the best moves for water types. It's basically like the Thunderbolt for water Pokemon. Pretty good. I'm going down in flames. Probably you are, yes. Now we go back here. I want to sneak up up here and then we go straight up. We found a jar of rock incense. Rock incense is an item held that has some benefits, but the biggest benefit about using rock incense is actually for a certain Pokemon to be coming out of an egg. Because from Pokemon like, for example, uh, Cleffa, Iglybuff, and all those, they'll only hatch if you breed with having a special hold item. So 
up here. Well, hello! It's not often we get a visitor here. I tried to make the ironworks run better with the moving floor tiles, but no one was happy about it. They said the moving floor made them dizzy. Gee, I wonder why. But you don't want to listen to me whine. Here's a souvenir. You can get another firestone. How nice. Now we have two. My ironworks will be nothing if there were no iron. That's why I'm always thankful for nature supplying me with iron. Well, obviously. I mean, I don't think we can reproduce iron by ourselves, so... But here is the big reward for us though, TM35 Flamethrower. The, one of the best special attack fire moves in the game. But I don't really think Ponyta has that great for it though? Yeah. Special attack is one of his worst stats. It's better of a physical attacker. That's fine though. Once you have the flamethrower and the firestones, then you're basically free to leave. There are some fire Pokemon and some other Pokemon we can find in the grass here. If you want to. Let's see what we can find. Ah, oh, it's a Shix. Little cute Shix. Look at this, so cute. You're not intimidated. How can that intimidate us? Like, you intended with a cute face or what? It is level 28 though, so it's pretty high level for a Shinx. I mean, my Luxray is only a few levels higher and it's only the world twice. We also have Shellas. We want to have a Water Pokemon, which becomes Water Ground. Very good typing, make me, instead of being weak to electric, it's immune. But, it will have a 4 time weakness to Grass, which can be painful. You see the shallows here is pink, which means we are in the West Sea shallows. There's also shallows which is blue and green, instead of being uh, pink and white. The blue and green one represents the East Sea. It also has a different way of the evolve as well. Now speaking of which, here's Gatchodon. So this is the evolved form of shallows. It has the brown and pink color, which represents the... Um, Western Sea, the other one is green and blue, representing the Eastern Sea. Anyways, that is basically it for the Fuego Ironworks. There's one place you can go to as well. One place I was thinking about going was to go down here to San Gem Town and go south to Route 219, 220, and 221, and reaching a place here. But there's no real point to go here right now. So this place has the new place called the Randomus Park, which is new in the remake of Gen 4. It had the Pal Park in Diamond and Pearl. But this place is not open yet until we got the National Pokedex, which is going to be a long time coming. So we're not going to worry more about that for now. Instead, we're going to fly to Jubilife City, so we can head further west towards our next destination. Anyways, that will be the end of this episode. Next episode, we are going to go back to our destination, which is to be the 6th gym location. From there on, we will learn more about uh, team, uh, team Galactic. And we will get to know some more Pokemon and travel to new islands, learn some more about the lore. And from there on, we will have some cool encounters before heading more to our other gyms. Because we still have three more gyms and three more badges more fun, more cool stuff, more enjoyment of this remake. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on social media. That's good for now. I'll see you guys next time. It's my journey in Pokemon Shining Pearl.